So this episode, we've got a couple of priorities. Firstly, we're going to exterminate Scotland from a face of the earth. This city, Elgin, is disappearing quickly, but Galway and Cork, well, they need persuading. And I've got Nitre. Uh, do I have square rigging? I do have square rigging. We need to go towards industrialization to make sure I've got factories, but I'm building a navy and we're going to quite forcibly take out Scotland. The second thing is that when it comes to the loyalty pressure, I'm struggling. I really am struggling, but St. Malo, Le Havre, and Amsterdam, these guys are kind of like the front line, right? They, they're the absolute front line of the loyalty system. If these three cities flip, it'll be like dominoes falling, and suddenly D-Day, the cultural D-Day of Eleanor, will have started, and I shall be scurrying across Europe, glee in my teeth as I smile. <laughs> but, but, right, before we get to that, though, before I get carried away, this is the problem. We don't have any great works of art, and the other problem is that nobody that we know will trade us great works of art, and most of the great art, anyway, is with Russia. I mean, well, actually, at least a couple of them are. It might be different people, weirdly enough. And my, my points towards great artists at the moment are not great. I'm currently in line to get the fourth. So, we're going to have to race through at least a couple of theatre square projects, and I'm actually tempted to do that in order to make sure that I have at least some influence and get at least one great artist. One great artist would give us at least three pieces of art. I'd be happy with that. But we've got to, we've got to press it. Third priority, and this should help, uh, it should really help when Scotland is removed from the game, but I really need to stop going to war with uh, Norway. Norway are being really, really annoying at the moment, but they won't make peace on me for various reasons, and their boats are everywhere, and they keep taking all my trade routes out, which is really, really annoying. So I've got to get rid of Norway. That's third. And the fourth is that we need to rename all my cities. Crudwell really did make me smile. I have to say, brilliant. I mean, there are loads on this list, right? But I've, I mean, I've been to these. Dorking, Barking, Knaresborough. Knaresborough's beautiful. Google Knaresborough right now. So the spelling of that is K-N-A-R-E-S-B-O-R O-U-G-H, Nesbra. There's a beautiful bridge over the river that sort of acts as an aqueduct as well. Um, and there's a train line that goes over it. Oh, some like old witch's cave there as well. It's very close to where my wife grew up. Brilliant place. But we're not naming it that because that's not funny. Horn Castle, on the other hand. Now that's deeply humorous. I mean, that that's this one's just too simple. I, I, I'm naming this one. I mean, honestly. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. We need to get feed the world up in more places. I haven't done that. I'm also going to start spreading my religion to the Netherlands as well because that will help my loyalty pressure a little bit. I could start spreading it to France. That would really annoy them. Hmm. It would actually ruin the loyalty pressure of these two cities there. You know what? I might actually do that. I don't have much else for my apostles to do right now, so that's not a bad idea. Things like the Bolshoi Theatre and, and, and like that sort of stuff may really help. I'm just thinking of stuff that I could double up here. Hmm, got to keep an eye out for that one. Rationalism? I kind of want rationalism in. I, I never, I haven't put these things in for, for some time actually. In serfdom, there's no need for builders. I'm literally built, built out right now. Where is campus adjacency? Here we go. Uh, and where is my boats? Why have I not got boats going here? Gold per turn is not a problem for me. God, you know when you step into a game after a little while and you're sort of looking at it thinking like, good God, what was I doing? So this will give me the Rikas for two random technologies. Flight is amazing, and steel as well. Oh god, those are two good ones. And we've got a new source of oil. Is that the only oil we've got? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, God's sake, I thought the North Sea was supposed to have loads. Oh yeah, Elgin's got some over here. Ugh, rubbish. Well, we've reached the end of the sea and no Russia. God damn it. Right, well, we've got, I think there's a scout on the way somewhere. Where are you? Yeah, here's the scout, right, quickly, onwards, go find Russia. Actually, launching an Inquisition is a good idea. Let's do that. I can send Inquisitors over the seas. Not a bad idea. Please F off, you Viking scum. God, it's really, really, really annoying. Industrialization. It's always a good one to discover. Oh, God damn it, Norway are just like plundering absolutely everything here. It's highly frustrating. Um, let me just do a little bit of trading with someone like Sweden. I just need to get some money. Okay, just got a hundred gold from them. That means I can now buy in the factory and then, in my capital, buy in the coal power plant. 
Yes, everything will be powered now, which is a good thing. I've got like, some broken stuff. Oh, damn, that's really, really annoying. Get the art museum in there, and then... Oh, eight turns for Bolshoi Theatre. That just... It's just really tempting. And it would give me two more slots, actually. One writing and one music slot. Hmm... Hermitage is probably better, but that's not a bad option. You know what, I say that, but actually getting a Theatre Square Festival or two in first is going to be the important thing here. Oh yeah. Here we go. We're generating power for our cities. The coal power is pretty good. Actually, you know what? I think I've actually worked a lot of power just accidentally. Yeah, look at that. 25 per turn and we have just basically improved it all accidentally. One, two, three. I've got districts on. Here's some coal. Here's some coal. Here's some coal. Here's some coal. Oh my goodness. It's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I couldn't have made that any better. Golden Age. Uh, the Dutch are in a Golden Age and the French are in a Golden Age. So let's see how this impacts everything. We can make one dedication. Uh, settling gives us another three pop. We're about to settle Iceland, so that might be quite cool. But I think campus districts give me more stuff. It's probably for the best. Although to arms gives us more military power. Reform the coinage gives me more gold. You know, actually reform the coinage will help me. Yeah. It's a boring one, I know, but reform the coinage stops my things, my, my traders being plundered, and it really does help uh, for me to well, get some money in. Also, look at that. One great artist, Rush, and already I've jumped up to the top on both the writer and El Greco, so this is probably worth actually thinking about doing this a little bit more. Got a military alliance with Hungary, that's quite useful. I forget that I can trade in all my horses and things, this is actually pretty good. And all my coal. Oh yes, because I, I generate like 26 coal per turn or something ridiculous, that's really, really handy. Also, Wilhelmina's still buying iron. Oh, this is really, really good. I've generated about 50 gold per turn just by going around with all of these like amenities, just giving things to people. England are so good for that, all the extra iron and coal you get just sells for so much money. Look, it's Iceland! Hooray, my settler's on the way. That's right, Norway. Just move all of your boats into just beautifully accessible spots that I can just double attack with my city. That's really useful. 37 gold per turn from that route. Wow. Okay, all the routes are going to Amsterdam from now on. Let's see how much we can annoy France in um, one go. Kaboom. Let's just keep spreading my religion. Um, I'm just going to generate grievances with you, France. I mean, I don't actually have any grievances genuinely with France directly, right? Yeah, tiny grievances against us, minus six per turn. They'll forget about that pretty quick. It's fine. There we go. <sighs> Thank you, Norway. God, that, I mean, they were more annoying just purely because they kept picking up all my trade routes. I mean, I think I was safe. Was it? Traders can't be plundered. Yeah, but still, it was really, really annoying. That, I just, I, it was just, it was just the, the principle behind it, you know? Let's just look at the loyalty pressure we've got going now. So even in golden ages, actually, Amsterdam is still really struggling. Yeah, that's loyalty. Amsterdam is, is definitely closer on loyalty than, than I sort of suspected. We're, we're not too far away from being able to really, really push this loyalty out a little bit. I think it's just a case of making sure that we've got all the right people in the right places. Um, I mean, Amari, what's her name? Yeah, Amani? I could put a uh, local, what is it, foreign investor, no, emissary? Yeah, emissary, lose two loyalty per turn, but she's, I mean, it's not a very strong effect. I think I'd rather, if I'm going to do anything, either get Magnus into vertical integration or get Liang in with aquaculture to help one of these cities be a little bit better, like Anarchy, for instance, there's a big opportunity there. So maybe I should do that. Big ol' suede over here as well. You, my friends, need to build some car power plants. But then actually a couple of military engineers, for no reason whatsoever, should be built. Um, cough, steam power. <laughs> We've got, yeah, we're going towards great artists now. If we boost this, if we continue to boost this, we might be able to steal at least one, which is really, 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 really good. El Greco, <gasps> or oh, Poland did that. Maybe Poland will trade some with me. No, she's not willing to trade with me. Doesn't want to trade anything. God damn it, why will no one give me any art? Hungry might they? Yes, Hungry definitely will give me some art. Ooh, ooh. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank God, we've actually got some freaking artwork. That's 
beautiful. Okay, doesn't stop me the need to just sort of work industrial uh, theatre square projects whilst I can. So let's just work a couple of theatre square festivals. Um, I just want to make sure that these really come through for me. We've got Frankenstein as well. Oh, nice. Actually picked up a great writer, everybody. This is, this is beautiful. Let's take the Sattler in Iceland. Oh, yeah. The inspirational sight fills you with joy. Damn right it does. It's a brilliant sight, that. Let's get the Royal Navy Dunkyard in. Let's get their city up and running. All this extra culture. Oh, it's beautiful. If I actually look at this tile. Yes, please. The good thing is that France sucks definitely was given all the artwork. So that should be another minus three guess. Look at this, Amsterdam, St. Malo. Oh, it's beginning to turn. It's beginning to turn. I just need another great artist. One more and we'll, we'll start to get there. This is, this is good. This is really good. Oh man, the great city of fuck you Scotland was just about to get a little bit distracted there. But look, the Venetian Arsenal. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this will help so much with my building of a navy. Delightful. And also, look at this, it's a military engineer. Oh, what? I wonder how that got there. Oh, look, railways. Oh, what a what a shame. I wonder what I'm going to end up doing with those, eh? So this tasty apostle actually uh, removes all of the pressure. Look at this, Le Havre. Oh, dear. oh, 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 it's a minus. It's an actual minus. Oh, this is so exciting. It's finally starting to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Finally starting to happen. The good thing as well is that France has got 11 of these points, 10 of these points, 4 of these points. So they've got at least 4 theatre squares in their territory. Which means that as soon as I start flipping French cities, I can immediately start putting my great works of art down there. Which is really cool. I like this. I'm getting extra culture and science from Roots. Harbour gives me gold. Industrial Zone gives me production. Frescoes give me great artist points. As I say, it's all just pushing towards this great artist. If I can just jump on this guy, oh yes, it'll be worth it. Now build up six envoys. If I get Vilnius in, I should be able to find Russia with it. That's the hope anyway. So bring this guy out, bring you in, and then, ho ho, screw you Scotland. It is now spread once again upon French cities, which is good. It means I can bring my apostles round and remain in safe safe sort of territory here. Remember, always keep your apostles in your own religion's land and then they have a huge combat bonus if they do get assaulted, which is really, really helpful. So I'm actually pumping food into Amsterdam deliberately because when I flip it, Amsterdam will be flush with population. It'll be a really useful city. And more specifically as well, it'll give a huge loyalty press as well. Because I mean, 16, population's worth of golden age pressure would be a huge flip for me if I could get away with that one. So that's why I'm deliberately sending all my roots with Thistlebanking in. And it's probably why I'll go democracy as well. It's like deliberately pumping the cities up for me to take them. Uh, smear campaign, disguise. None of these are very good. Let's go for disguise. All right, this is where it starts to get serious. Move my apostle up and running. Move you to here. Now, that guy will majorly defeat, but this flanking bonus is quite useful actually because it means I can now go ba bam and attack and start to actually do some damage. One thing I should do is just make sure I've got archaeological antiquity sites available to me to have a look at. Uh, zero results. Okay, there are zero <laughs> results at the moment. I'm a natural history. Is that the one that discovers them? Yes, it is. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to gamble on one archaeological museum. That'll boost natural history. So I've got that in Horncastle down here. Brest is going to get one as well. I'm going to put archaeological museums in these guys. I think that's a good move, personally. First railway has been set up. Here we go. Da, 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 da. So those two are heading down this way. Actually, I need somebody to go up and send the route up to the frozen north of Crudvel as well. <laughs> oh, look. So France have restored their population, but look, they've had to put governors in. That's their last, that's the last one. They can't do anything else, you know, other than what they've done. So this is the maximum loyalty pressure they've got. I've already got plus 15 or minus 15, minus 11 on these cities. This is good. We're really starting to pile it in now. Okay, Horncastle, Antiquities. So let's have a look and see how much we've got. We've got one over there. We've got one there. We've got one there. And we've got one there. Okay, that's, you know what? That's not too bad, actually. That means we can get two of these sites in. Let's build an archaeological museum in this city as well. Good. 
we just need to, as I say, just make sure we, we've got all bases covered, really. Although, actually, I guess Eleanor's ability doesn't work on, on, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have too many archaeological sites. It doesn't matter with those cities, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on that one. Anyway, this will give me Vilnius, which hopefully I'll discover Russia with. No! Oh, come on. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, you know what, Archer, just, just keep going. You'll find Russia eventually. Oh, Hermitage is available to be built now. Oh, that's exciting. That's a lot of stuff, like a huge amount of stuff. Bolshevita, you know what, uh, yes, Hermitage. You build the Hermitage here, France sucks. That's a great thing to build. Um, how are we doing in terms of a great artist? Oh, we're almost there. We are almost there. Okay, we need to do this thing carefully, but we can sort of move our apostles around, make sure this one is utterly flanked in all ways. Yeah, major victory, this is pretty good. I can just bring you in a little bit closer like this. There we go, we've got you totally surrounded now. Plus 15 flanking bonus. Thank you very much. You're not gonna not gonna attack. Oh no, now he doesn't have the movement to attack. Of course he doesn't. These guys do though. So you know what? We're just gonna go one, two, three, like this. Yes. Wonderful. And then my guru is just waiting to heal next turn. Okay, one down. One to go. This guy though, still pretty tough. Still pretty tough. Um, oh, actually, this is possible. I think I just need to heal everybody. Can you go in, Guru? Oh, he's run out of movement. Oh, that's typical. Never mind. Um, uh, major defeats. Screw you, Scotland to spread. This is the guy to spread it twice. And this is the guy to remove the pressure. So I could, I mean, I can attack with this guy. It wouldn't actually kill it though. Hmm, this guy would kill it though. Oh, nice. There we go, that's really good. Um, okay, we're starting to spread it a little bit more now. It's only two population, one population. Okay, right, we've got we have a lot of spreading to do. Ooh, I think we would like great artists. Actually, no, we don't even want to go there. Let's let's vote for something totally different. Great engineers, because if great artists get stopped, that would be an absolute pain in the ass. What amenities have we got these days? Let's have a look. Resources. We're going for something we've got lots of, but someone else has got lots of as well. We can kind of join in on stuff. Furs? Mm. No, that wouldn't go down particularly well. Truff I think truffles is a good idea. Let's go for truffles. No wine, no great writers. Oh, never mind. My guru was almost killed them, which is deeply unpleasant. Now, uh, this is the guy with the... Uh, ability to attack people. You have a 20% combat strength, so I'm just going to move you to here. We'll use the Guru to heal the units quickly, including itself. That's quite handy, actually. Um, you're just an extra two religions. Actually, if I attack you once and then attack you a second time... Oh, yes! And then this Apostle can remove the religion. Oh, we're starting to make inroads now. This is really good. Oh, we we'll finally took a city. It was Elgin. Elgin finally flipped. Good on you. Good on you. Right now, the, the thing we've got to do, double check now is just to make sure that we don't have any great works in the cities that aren't doing anything now. So, fuck you, Scotland, for instance. It's a great city, but it's too far away to really influence anything anymore. As is, like, anarchy. Although, actually, to be fair, we haven't got anything in that city. So, um, okay, so France sucks, Horn Castle, and T Base 1. These are all good, but I can, like, for instance, Brest would, would be, would really, really appreciate that much more. So let's just put this down here, like so. Lovely. And we just need to keep an eye on that. And we're also going to have just have a check in and just see if there's any more artists out there that we could go and nab from people. Oh, hell yes. Poland are finally going to give me their pictures. Oh, thank God. That's good. That's really, really, really good. We're also going to intervene quickly in, in uh, Cockermouth. I don't want an archaeological museum. I thought. I thought twice about that. I'd rather go for an art museum. Ugh. Some tons of wasted production there, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Secretly my favourite governor title in the whole thing. Aquaculture. Woohoo! Quickly! Get those fisheries in! Anarchy's going to be an amazing city. This apostle needs to get out of here quickly. He's the one that, as I say, reduces by 75%. That's good. Screw you, Scotland! Ha ha ha! 
the legacy lives on with three cities now okay that the, the, the pressing sort of matter here is that we're causing france real problems and also look amsterdam is in minus two that's good we quite like that but we're causing france problems now this is this is all we kind of had hoped to do really um but i kind of want the apostle to get back into friendly territory if it can yeah like that much safer while standing in friendly territory right back you come you know what, i'm not taking any chances I'm using faith to buy that great artist. Oh, I just don't want to risk it. Do you not want to risk it? Venetian Arsenal. There we go. I can actually start building some freaking units now. I'm going to go and take down Scotland. We've got to unify the UK. We've unified Scotland. Actually, the, the whole of the mainland UK is here. It's just, just Galway and Cork. That's fine. It's fine. Already our first frigate appears. Actually, that's a siege now. It's not a frigate. Oh look, and I built it the same turn as Venetian Arsenal finished as well, so here's two frigates. Oh yes, do you see this little canal? It's actually quite useful. Updating into the loyalty and how oh, yeah, look at this Amsterdam now falling at 10 per turn. Oh yeah, the Hermitage isn't even finished. Once that finishes, oh, that'll be amazing. We've got great works popping down over here now as well. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. Here's flight. Oh, should we see if we've got any um, aluminium? No reason whatsoever. Just, you know, one eye on the uh, Scottish sort of empire over to my left. Also, look, Cardiff is actually beginning to massively, massively reduce in loyalty now. We're not far off being able to actually take loyalty over, or Cardiff over with loyalty pressure. It's that brilliant Eleanor Aquitaine, uh, Aquitaine thing. It's just city states? City state independence? Nah. Now we don't like that. Some people are just very, very easy to deal with. Thank you. And you. It's four more books. Brilliant. The amount of people that are willing just to trade stuff away just for stuff I'm getting in every turn. It's very handy. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Even Cardiff now. Yes, we need to fall St. Marlo, Le Havre on the edge, Amsterdam, 10 per turn. We're getting there. We are getting there. I've also built four fleets of frigates. Actually, no, scrap that. Five fleets of frigates. <laughs> in three turns? I think I built those in three turns. Something like that. So I'm um, Scotland. I'm very sorry. But um, I think it's time for a colonial war. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delightful. And actually, I've got a military ally as well. Do you want to join in? Do you want to join in? Come on, I know you do. Join ongoing war. Colonial war. One gold? Oh yes, they are up for it. Scotland, you really should not have bothered to embark all of your units. It was just too easy for me just to come along and kill them all. Very tasty. Oh, for God's sake, someone built the Hermitage when I was one turn away from doing it. Oh. Annoying. Well, I might be able to put the Bolshoi Theatre down in the Sims base, but still. That is the most annoying thing ever. 